Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of Genshin Impact and today I'm going to take care of the Sword Seal Cemetery or whatever the hell it's called um, and to get some uh, pretty damn good equipment before uh, we face Storm Terror that is and uh, before we continue the main quest, the storyline quest but before that, let's just uh, collect some, uh, some things here and uh, I don't think I, I can fight these guys right now. It's just way too much stress for me. Anyways, um, I know a lot of you are actually watching this video for the first time, or uh, obviously that you will be watching it for the first time. I am. Anyways, I was saying I was going to say that uh, a lot of you guys are new, and uh, approximately 99%, 99.7% to be precise, or 6%, I guess are not subscribed to the channel at all so pre please subscribe to the channel help me get to at least 1000 subscribers before the end of this month or as soon as possible uh it's a request and um because if you guys help me out i mean i'll be able to achieve the damn thing in a mere week to be honest so therefore help me out with this and uh, also Press the like button and the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates on this channel. I do upload daily. Um, if I don't, then uh, think that you can assume that uh, I have died. Okay? Just kidding. I'm not. I'm not serious right now. <laughs> Anyways, I was going to. I was scavenging for some material, or I should say, um, collecting some material, good material, so that I can build some good weapons for my characters. Um, what the hell? I got stuck. Anyways, uh, so the sword seal sword cemetery or whatever the hell it's called, a uh, place where you can obtain a four-star billet for a claymore. A claymore is a giant sword, and uh, once you'll see, you'll see at the end of the video, uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And uh, it's four-star, so you can actually get a pretty good, um, pretty pretty badass-looking sword at the end. Uh, but you do require. 50 crystals and 50 uh, white iron chunks for that and the 4 star sword billet, Claymore sword billet and uh, for that we need to activate um, 3 mechanisms right uh, 3 artifacts by which we will basically be able to enter or break the seals of the sword cemetery and then once we do that, yeah, uh, a four-star, uh, a four-star, what do we call that, um, artifact and four-star sword billet would be ours. And um, yeah, that's about it for that. A reward on the road. Okay. That wasn't that much good. I thought this was this was going to be a very good, thing, uh, good reward. But for I mean, for a new player, it might be good, but not that good. Um, it's just a little bit lower than the intermediate level, but it would help you out if you level it up a bit. Anyway, uh, so the star, uh, sword seal cemetery, sword seal, not sword seal cemetery, sword cemetery is located um, in the Dadumpa or Dadupa, whatever the hell it's called, uh, by the lake. I'll show you that um, in just a moment by just defeating these, uh, these damn bastards. I hate these mages to be honest. They are so annoying. Really. One more thing. Uh, a lot of galaxy impactors obviously they, obviously they would know that. But uh, you players don't know that people with monsters which are fighting the abyss order, they were once humans. It might be shocking for you guys because uh, we are actually killing monsters that are actually humans. They are just like cursed or something like that. Therefore, they despise humans and uh, ultimately the Archons who, who rule the world. And uh, that's their whole story. Most of the story is going to be like a. Uh, Told after like uh, when, it, when you meet a guy, he's a bit 
no, it's not the best Abyss Herald. It's the quest in which you need Abyss Herald. So make sure you subscribe to channel so that you don't miss when I upload, upload that. And um, yeah, obviously I am going to upload that um, not soon. It's very far ahead in the storyline. So make sure that you keep watching these videos. Let me just be the shit out of this. Don't, what the hell? This guy just regenerated his health. Our bond is strong. Okay. Um, okay, that was close. That was close. I need to burn his shield. Okay, you can burn these shields by simply using. Um, there we go. What the hell? He put out the flames. I need to get this uh, shaman. Oh, he crushed us. My character is dead. Oh, yes, that was. Uh, the elemental reactions you might not have known about this before, or you might have went through the tutorial. Elemental reactions can be started by simply applying two or more elements. So, the elements which go together well, go together well are water and ice, then water and uh, uh, this uh, electric magic. What do we call this? I actually forgot what it's called. And uh, flame and electro. Flame and electro have the like uh, most powerful effect of them all because uh, What's the it creates an overpowered reaction that basically see, it basically knocks out your opponent, knocks the shit out of you. Anyone more thing? I, I just remember that Ramadan is just around the corner. In about two days, two or one or two days. It, it's 21 today, I think. Yes, and uh, on 23, first Ramadan is uh, going to start. Make sure that you fast the first Ramadan, and uh, I wish you a happy Ramadan. These will come in handy. Uh. Don't forget to do your Azkar before the start of this month because uh, you have to do some uh, sort of Azkar before like, uh, the starting of the month. Uh, sorry, not in the starting, before the starting of the month. In this, in this month. So, uh, we still have a one and a half day approximately. Yeah. So, do, that, do, do those and uh, yeah, before the month starts. Uh, and happy Ramadan, that is all I can say, I mean, I'm not sure whether you can uh, like um, give such tidings, but it's a gift for us and uh, Alhamdulillah it has arrived. Hey, nothing appeared here after I defeated the boss. I thought that another chest would appear, but no. Um, okay, one tribe is done. So you have to basically defeat three tribes in order to access the cemetery. And uh, one of the tribe is just... Um, is just on the other side of the cliff, I presume. I'm not sure though, but... Um, I'm, uh, you can uh, literally see it on the map. It's pretty easy to find. Just uh, place a marker there and navigate to it. Uh, I mean use navigation to get to it it'll be it's pretty pretty easy the sword seal cemetery is uh, just beneath this cliff on the other side uh, i'll show it once we reach up 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 there okay and uh, there's one more thing. There's a sword, an ice sword, I think, or ice colored sword. Uh, it's on the dragon spine, maybe. I'm not sure though. But once we reach there, I'll make sure that I get it. And uh, apparently, we have to find three golden boxes for that. And uh, once we do, 
uh, then we have to simply enter the chamber. Once we do, once we do that, we have to start some sort of mechanism or solve some sort of drill in order to like uh, access the tool. So it's a very good soul and I am going to choose to get it. I never heard that there are actually 5 star weapons or maybe artifacts that you can get um, in the fitting bosses. I haven't done that to be honest, even though in my other account I have uh, progressed in Azuma. I have no 5 star like, uh, uh, artifacts. But do I have, do have a 5 star weapon, it's a bow. Um, but people think it's trash, so I don't know what, what to say. And uh, there's another account. I'm sorry, I have too many accounts. Apparently, um, to my knowledge, I think I have three accounts. This one and two others. Uh, and one of them, I have a five-star character. It's Chi-Chi, I think. Yep, it's Chi-Chi. Um, the dead girl, which, um, which basically was... Who basically died while the war between the archons so this is a sword seal uh, sword symmetry uh, just beneath us there and uh, one of the uh, seals we have lifted upon it many are the two let me just mark it so that i would i may find it easily so you have seen the map it's right there and uh, you can find it uh, very easily so you just saw that uh, actually there was a flash of light and before that the ground got brighter um, if you know what I mean you can just go back uh, if you want to know what I mean uh, you can just go back to the video um, if you want to video and watch it so whenever that happens get the frick out of this because you might die um, this, this guy like to if I take my myself Apparently I can use Electro on this. Uh, Electro has uh, pretty good damage on um, what do we call uh, Hydro and uh, Pyro and uh, what, what, one, there was another one. I think it's um, I don't know whether it's the, uh, it's Dendro or not, but it does have pretty good damage on those. And another web, another web uh, element which has good effect on another, on the other, is the pyro on hydro and vice versa. So they're actually they actually can be used pretty well against uh, the other other type. And uh, for fire type enemies, you can use ice magic or ice type magic it's pretty pretty damn good Freeze. so yeah you can just um, benefit from that so you can learn them from uh, the wikipedia of Genshin impact or just from searching google it, it just shows right there on the first page at the top whenever you search whatever you search I mean, google is a great help Okay, it should be here around somewhere. Oh, there it is. See? Damn, that was a huge blast. Okay, let me just... Because they're in water, so my electro magic is going to work pretty darn good on them. Oh, damn! So I can just beat the shit out of this guy with the uh, elemental burst. In PC you can do that with cube. I don't know what is in console because I never played in console. And um, in mobile you can just tap on it. To be honest, if you want to do adventuring, 
Um, do you have a good graphic card? Go for the PC. But if not, then uh, just do that in uh, in the mobile. Looking for a fight? Because without a good graphic card, it's not very like appealing to play. Right now, I have the uh, the resolution at which I'm playing is not very good to be honest. Um, I wish that I had one uh, a graphic card, a dedicated graphic card so that I can play like uh, at high resolutions, 1980p. Stand with me. All yours. Okay, so I was sh shutting my mouth for quite a while, so the thing is I had a call <laughs> and I had to shut my mouth. So, uh, 
most of the players won't be able to find this last one because uh, I did I had my suspicions so it's actually a trial and uh, you need to have a very good like uh, damage dealing character for setup party setup out of my way one way to do that is uh, simply using uh, pyro electro hydro and ice or dendro oh, no sorry not dendro uh, animal what do you call that yeah i think it's animal um the wind magic Right now, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'll fail this because the, the rate at which I am uh, killing these slimes is very slow. And uh, my character is leveled pretty slow as well. So what I'm gonna do is that in my next uh, attempt, I'll just use a buffing, uh, a buff material, which is a food. And uh, you can obtain it. By this time, you'll be having one of them in your inventory. So it, uh, once before starting this, just consume that after starting this, this so that you can uh, accomplish this uh, challenge very quickly. And uh, you have three phases in one, these uh, slimes appear, in second, these things and slimes appear, and the last one, hilly chills and a big uh, a rhinosaurus, uh, not rhino, bull type uh, person appear. So, okay, I'm about to kill. No! One eternity later. Okay, so I beat the shit out of them by leveling up my characters and also using a buff food, a food to buff myself, uh, attack, uh, increase my attack power. And right now we have unlocked the cemetery. And this chest keep this is close. what you are going to get after unlocking this. Oh, hey, wait a moment. There's only one material I have. There has to be something else. Let me just uh, equip this. Um, okay, yes. Let's see how much... Um, It'll increase its damage power once we, like, um, level it up. Hey, what is this sanctifying essence? Okay, no, no much, much about this. So, tell me about this uh, down in the comments if you know about it and how to get it. Forty-two to fifty-four. Hmm, nice. So attack, my attack power is increased by 54 from 42. So now you know why you need these. Okay. I was wondering why I didn't got the billet. Build the sword. It was right here. Okay, I got it now. So this is this is a claymore billet. And you can use it to build a claymore sword. I'll show you how in... When we reach Monstad. Till then, take care, see ya.